All right, a lot of you have been asking for a tutorial on how to do a local installation of Kobold AI and thus use Pygmalion. So here it is, I'll show you how. Now, I do wanna start off by saying that running Kobold AI locally will require a pretty decent PC setup. You're gonna to want to have at least six gigabytes of VRAM, that's your graphics card memory. You can look that up in your um, graphics card settings. And you'll also need about 10 to 25 gigabytes of free space on your hard drive. So first you're gonna to wanna to get Node.js installed. You just Google how to install Node.js. This will allow you to run Windows bat files. Okay, next we're going to Google Kobold AI and you're gonna to go to this GitHub link right here. Once you're in here, you're going to go to this green code button, click on it, and then you're going to go down to download zip. So you're gonna extract that folder using WinRAR or whatever you'd like, and you're gonna get a folder with all these files and executables. And the first one you're gonna to wanna to click is this install requirements Windows bat file. And when you run it, it'll look something like this. This looks kind of different for me because I already have it installed, uh, but it's basically the same steps. So it's gonna install all the requirements. This might take a couple minutes. And that should close out once it's all done. In the meantime, we're going to go ahead and download the Pygmalion model. This will be the language processing brain for the AI, essentially. So Google Pygmalion 6B. I recommend starting out with this one. There are smaller and bigger models, um, but 6B is kind of the average. So you're going to go and click Files and Versions. And from here, you're gonna to want to go to these three little dots on the corner where it says clone repository. And you're gonna to wanna to copy all these lines of code here. What it's essentially is gonna do is gonna give you Git, which will help you install some of the files for this model as well as a lot of the dependencies. You're also gonna to wanna to manually download these two bin files they're gonna be pretty hefty. It's about 15 gigabytes. But this is basically the Pygmalion model itself. Now by this time, all the Kobold requirements should be done installing. You should have a couple new folders in here, one of them being models. You're gonna to wanna to go into this models folder. Then you're gonna go right click and open in terminal. Once that terminal pops up, this is where you're going to paste that GitHub repository that you copied. Hit paste anyway and run these codes. Now you should have this new Pygmalion folder. Then go into that new folder and copy and paste those two large bin files into here. Next, you're gonna to wanna to go back to the Kobold AI client main folder, and then you're gonna do update Kobold AI. When this runs, it's gonna ask you if you wanna do main or united. Hit two for united. And this should run until everything's updated and it will close out when it's complete. All right, now we're ready to actually run Kobold AI. So look for this remote play Windows bat file and double click it. This will start up Kobold. You may need to restart this um, bat file a couple times for it to work properly, but once it does work, you're going to get these four links. You're going to want to copy this first link for UI1. It's going to look different for everyone. Now open a web browser and paste that link into the address bar and it will come up with this blue page. This is the Kobold UI. Now, even after all this, Kobold still isn't ready to use yet. As you can see, it says read only. That means we won't actually be able to send any messages until we install the actual Pygmalion model. So the way we do that is we're gonna go up to this AI button. You can download models directly from this page but since we already have Pygmalion in our local directory, we are just going to go to load model from its directory at the top. Now you can see our Pygmalion model is already here. So this might be a little tricky depending on your system. If I try to load this using all 28 layers in GPU, then it's not gonna run for me because I don't have enough GPU memory. Pygmalion 6B requires at least 16 gigabytes of VRAM in order to run efficiently, but there are ways around it. So what you're going to do is rather than putting all 28 layers in GPU, you can actually allocate some of them to CPU, which is using your computer processing unit. Don't ever 
adjust the disc glares, you don't want to do that. This will probably take a bit of trial and error just because everyone's system is different. In this case, since I only have 8 gigs of VRAM on my system, I used half of that 16 gigabytes required allocated to GPU and the other half to CPU. So start with half, see how that works, and then adjust accordingly. So now that Pygmalion's installed, you'll see that it says you are running Pygmalion 6B. And what I like to do here is I like to give it a little test message, to just make sure everything's working. So here I'll put in something like, hello. All right, now that we see that it's working, all we gotta do is copy the URL, and then you just paste it here where it asks for the API URL in Janitor or wherever you're using it. Don't forget to hit save at the bottom and you're ready to start chatting. Now the most common error you'll probably get is this CUDA out of memory error. All you gotta do is go to generation settings. From here, you're gonna to wanna to mess around with some of the settings here. You can st start with Cobalt AI default. I like to set max new token to something like 190 context size. You're gonna to wanna to keep it pretty low with Cobalt. I uh, usually keep around the 1000 to 1200 range. Another common error you might get is failed to fetch. That also sometimes has to do with memory. One thing I would do is I would keep lowering the context size and the max new tokens until it starts generating some responses. Another thing I recommend doing is if you have access to edit the bot, I would try and cut down a lot of the descriptions and the definition a bit because that will also take up a bit of the bot's memory. Another thing of note, it's probably going to be pretty slow with these responses, so I recommend trying out the smaller versions of Pygmalion, the 2.7b, as well as messing around with the way your layers are allocated for it, as well as try out different bots. They'll all respond differently. So that's how you use Cobalt AI locally. I hope this helped, and subscribe for more tutorials.